Hey everybody, Matt Farnham here uh, with more real life questions. Uh, a lot of questions coming in right now about refinancing. Understandably so, rates are incredibly historically low right now. Uh, a good rule of thumb is when you're looking to refinance, there is costs to refinancing. Uh, it could be a few thousand dollars, four, five, six thousand dollars, depending on the loan amount um, in your home and so forth. What you really want to do is see how much money is it going to save me per month and how many months is it before I break even. For example, let's say that it costs you $5,000 to refinance and it's going to save you $200 a month on your monthly obligation. Your break even point, if you took $5,000 divided by $200 a month, it's 25 months, if I'm doing that right, uh, before you would break even. Um, so essentially two years. So that's a pretty quick turnaround to get that $5,000 back. Um, usually if it's anything close to three years or less, it probably makes sense to refinance. However, if you have any thoughts of selling anytime soon, don't refinance. Um, because uh, if you're going to sell it in the next two three years, then you're going to end up not realizing the full benefit of that, that savings and just spending all that money to refinance you don't need to spend. So um, right now rates are incredible. Um, the time I'm filming this, it's summer 2020, so rates are historically low. Could make a lot of sense for you. Maybe time to look into a 15-year mortgage and get crazy low rates right now in the twos. Uh, but anyways, that's really the filter you need to think through when you're looking at refinancing is how many months before I um, break even on the cost it actually takes to refi. Uh, any other questions, let us know. But real life uh, questions, real life answers. All right, take care.